Mad Money Lightning Round is brought to you by TD Ameritrade, where smart investors get smarter. It is time! It's up to the lightning round! What's about Rob Gross? We're going to see you. And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready? Ski dive over the lightning round because we're going to start with Thomas in Florida. Thomas! Hey, what's up, Jim? How much have you? Um, I was, I'm pretty good. I'm in Florida. Okay, that's good uh, for you. I wanted, I wanted to ask you about uh, Bluebird Bio. I think Bluebird Bio is a, it's pure spec. It, it's been some good, some bad, some good. I mean, if you're willing to take the pain of a spec, I like it. Let's go to Don in Wisconsin. Don. Oh, yeah, Jim. Oh, yeah. See, I'm a third-time caller. I just have to say thanks for all you do for me and all the small investors like me. Excellent. Thank you. Thank and you I for that. I want to say uh, hi to my grandkids, Joshua and Caitlin, and their parents. Love you more, guys. The heck, why not? Right. And my uh, question is opinion on uh, OESX, Orion Energy. Wow, it's a small guy. Uh, third time caller done, and you know I do my best for you. I am going to have to come back because I do not know Orion Energy Systems. Let's go to William in Michigan. William. Hi, Jim. Thank you for taking my call. Yeah. I bought this stock in the low 10 with a strategy of holding long term. With the incoming Biden administration and his ability to calm tensions with China, along with Larry Culp's mission of pro- profitability and rebound in a cash flow, do you foresee General Electric doubling in 2021? Uh, I don't think you can double, no. I don't think Larry Culp would say that either, the CEO, but what I would say is the business is really turning. If you get uh, planes back in the air with a vaccine and you take a look at how well their hospital business is doing, and then you lump in the fact that windmills, they are actually starting to do well. And I think you say that GE is an upstock going higher. How about 50? Let's say 50. Hi, how about we go to Chad in Tennessee? Chad. Booyah from Lookout Mountain, Tennessee. There I'm you here go. with my children, Chapman and Mim, and we want your opinion of one of our favorite stocks. Starbucks will grow from 33,000 to 50,000 stores over the next decade. Combined with margin improvements, this will drive massive EPS growth in FY21 and 22. EPS growth will stay in the low double digits in the out years. Starbucks has one of the strongest customer loyalty programs in the world and is likely to be a major holding of ESC funds. They also have the best hot chocolate. Starbucks, giddy up. Holy cow, got the Walton family there. Okay, um, here's the deal. So I agree with you. I think Starbucks is great. Now, it just had a, a remarkable run from uh, a gallop from 80 right to 105. So let's make it, uh, let's have the family kind of just have some of the hot chocolate. Uh, you know, maybe go for the, uh, my wife likes to put the cubes in the thing. I don't know what that's about. Why would you ever get hot chocolate and put ice cubes in it? Isn't that like stupid? But anyway, I like the stock very much. She hasn't watched the show. I'm cool. Let's go to Sammy in New York. Sammy. Booyah, Jim. Happy New Year. Happy New Year right back to you. Uh, my question is about Uber. We're in the middle of a pandemic. We're not going anywhere, but Uber just keeps going up and up. Tell me your thoughts on this. Uber Eats. It's a crusher. It really is. It's the winner. I think that Uber is a terrific stock. I've told that to them. It's a big turn. Once we got that consolidation in the delivery business and we realized that's all we really want, Uber Eats, and then Uber will be fine once we get the vaccine. I think you're in great shape. I'm going to Barun in New Jersey. Barun. Mr. Kramer, thanks for taking my call. I'm a big fan. A first-time caller okay. and happily satisfied with Action Alerts Plus. Boy, it's two. I love that. Action Alerts Plus, the club club member. What's going on? I currently hold SunPower, symbol SPWR. With the recent price increase, should I be adding or selling? Well, I think, look, it's had a big run, but do not sell it. Do not sell it because this is the kind of stock, along with a couple of others that I follow, that will do very well over the next four years because Joe Biden is the most environmentally sensitive uh, president I think we've ever had. I was going to say since Nixon because he came up with the Clean Air and Clear Water Act, but no one would ever buy that. So anyway, let's go to Ed in New Jersey. Ed. Booyah, Jim. Booyah. Ed here. Uh, I want to talk to you about my stock. And if it's not already on your radar, I think it's worth a closer look. Uh, You last mentioned it back in July. Since then, we've got FDA approval. 
The stock price has doubled, and I think the pipeline looks more promising than ever. What's your take on BioCrit Pharmaceuticals? See, I was biased against it, as you know, because they had a lot of great things that they said were going to happen, and they never happened. But you know what? I'm open-minded. Let's get him back on the show before we jump to a conclusion. It's been a long time. And that, ladies and gentlemen, the conclusion of the Lightning Round! The Lightning Round is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com. Or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.